This is TV Patrol GCF. Mikael Anthony Cardenas reporting live for Documentary. City Laguna to make a documentary to show some of its citizens portraying their different roles in the community. First, let's define what's a citizen or citizenship. What is a citizen and citizenship? The Marian Dictionary defines citizenship as a being a member of the community. It is also defined as one's quality of an individual's response to membership in a community. In Wikipedia, citizenship is the status of a person recognized under the law of a country and or local jurisdiction. In international law, it is membership to a sovereign state or a country. The Great Thinkers defined citizenship or citizens as rights of true citizenship accure, accrue only to those who serve the state to which they belong. Mahatma Gandhi Part of building a new nation means building a spirit of tolerance, love, and respect among the people of this country, said Nelson Mandela. The test of good citizenship is loyalty to country, said Bainbridge Colby. Furthermore, we can say a citizen is participatory member of a political community. Citizenship is gained by meeting the legal requirements of a nation, national, state, or local government. A nation or a country grants certain rights and privileges to its citizens. For example, the government of a country provides their citizens the right to vote during government elections. Also provides the rights for protection from any form of harm, like health hazards and or diseases, from threats and the like, freedom to have a family, shelter, a job, and some insurance. There is so much to tell, because every country, city, or even community has their own individual rights and privileges for their citizens. Here in the Philippines, we have Filipino rights such as the right to life and liberty, personal security, freedom from torture, freedom from discrimination, and freedom from arbitrary arrest, among others. The right to travel and the rights to free speech, the rights to earn a living and to own properties, the right to vote in all Philippine election polls, or even run as a candidate for a government position. Hence, if you are a non-citizen, one has very limited rights, most of which follow their laws and rights of their own respective country. If the citizens have these rights and privileges, what would be the duties as a citizen? It is indicated in our Constitution, the duties and obligation of the Filipino citizens are to be loyal to the Republic. Loyalty implies faith and confidence in the Republic and love and devotion to the country, to defend the state, to contribute to the development and welfare of the state, to uphold the Constitution and obey the laws, to cooperate with the du duly constituted authorities, to exercise rights responsibly with due regards to the rights of others, to engage in gainful work, and to register and vote. The Philippine Constitution is very clear as to what the Filipino citizens should fulfill and do. However, many of the Filipino citizens have difficulties in fulfilling some of these obligations. Hunger and poverty are the most likely difficulties of the Filipino people, most especially the COVID-19 pandemic. There are many Filipinos who lost their jobs due to the limitations of the community quarantine. Hence, duties such as engaging in gainful work and paying taxes to the government 
are very limited due to the difficulties of our time and the very limited employment options the country currently has. After a textbook reference of what citizenship is, we wanted to learn from real people if they believe they are being good citizens according to the standards of society and what they can contribute for the betterment of the nation. Wala da dati 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 ako ano adik dati ako pusher marami ako ng pagbila na mga na mga masamang droga para sa kapataan marami marami na sira ang buhay dahil sa sa droga. Mayroon po ba kayong ibang papel sa pamilya o sa labas ng bahay? Sa pamilya, uh, meron akong mga anak, anak, lima anak ko. Hindi ko nga sila napapakain kasi labas masok ako sa kulungan. Parati ako nauhuli, wala akong ibang alam na trabaho kundi magbenta lang ng droga. Naawa na rin ako pero wala naman ako ibang trabaho ng alam. Kaya ito, pinipilit kong magbago. Pinipilit kong maging barker, mag, 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 magwalis, magtumulong sa, sa barangay. Pinipilit ko naman magbago. Paano po kayo nakakatulong po sa komunidad? Hindi nga, tulad ng uh, sinabi ko, di man ako nakakapag-alaga sa, sa mga bata. Tulungan ng asawa ko, madalas wala ako sa bahay. Kung ano lang yung ko, ayoko na rin naman pumasok ko sa kulungan dahil sa droga. Basta tinuturo ko sa, sinasabi ko sa aking mga anak na huwag nila akong tularan. Mayroong trabaho? Mayroon. Ano po? kasambahay ko. Paano po yung trabaho ninyo? Uh, tumutulong dito sa kay doktora sa pag-asikaso uh, dito sa loob ng bahay para si doktora ay makakapagtrabaho din, makakapasok lagi. Mayroon po ba kayong ibang papel sa pamilya o sa labas ng bahay? Mayroon po. Paano po kayo nakakatulong po sa komunidad? Uh, tinuturuan ko yung mga anak ko at mga apo ko na magandang asal para sa paglaki na yung magiging mabuting mga bata. Mayroong trabaho? Ano po? Wala po akong trabaho pero sa kasalukuyan po, ako po ay nag-aalaga ng aking sampung apo. <laughs> ano po ang trabaho sa bahay? Ang gabayan ng mga apo ko sa... Maging mabuting bata sa isa't isa, mm -hmm. maging magalang, mm -hmm. at masunurin sa magulang. I'm an interior designer currently studying in the College of St. Benil. Do you have other jobs or roles, most especially in the community? Well, uh, I am a, I'm the eldest son. I help out my dad in, off, in the office and um, I, am, I take care of my two other siblings at home. As a member or citizen of the community, how do you help the community? Um, I would do, I am doing interior design so I can um, offer an improvement in the lifestyle of how people live their lives, and especially in their home. And I also always take into consideration whenever I'm outside to help as much people as I can, like uh, open the door for elderly or to help people carry stuff that normally would be too heavy for them. So overall, every time I am outside, I just try to uh, not be, or I just try to be aware of everything that goes around. As a member or citizen of the community, how do you help the community? Well, first and foremost, of course, I obey the rules of the community. Um, as a mother, I uh, instill uh, values to my children I uh, also um, serve my husband or, or uh, be a good wife to my husband as well. And uh, with my job as a singer-songwriter, I always make sure to create uh, or compose songs that are uh, relevant to what is happening nowadays. 
uh, as a matter of fact, my, one of my composition, which is entitled Dear God, is about the pandemic. So it's a, it's a song of uh, hope and a song that would uh, uh, give the people listening to, to the song uh, inspiration that it's God who is empowered, uh, I mean, uh, God who is almighty and God will help us get through the COVID-19 situation. Then our final question was, are they responsible citizens? Masasabi ninyo po ba na responsable po kayong mamamayan ng San Pedro? Hindi. Hindi siguro kasi criminal nga ako eh. Pero sa maliit kumparaan kasi mahirap lang kami. Masasabi ko na lang eh. Sana ang mga anak ko ay huwag tumulad sa akin. Yun lang may tutulong ko sa komunidad. Masasabi ninyo po ba na responsable po kayong mamamayan ng San Pedro? Opo. Masasabi ninyo po ba na responsable po kayong mamamayan ng San Pedro? Opo. <laughs> Salamat po. Given this, can you say you're a responsible citizen? I would say that I am a responsible citizen, but there's always room for improvement. So, I will always keep an open mind and try my best to uh, become better every day. Given this, can you say you're a responsible citizen? Of course, definitely. Uh, and I encourage everyone to be a responsible um, citizen too. Thank you. All the interviews we got, despite the limitation of GCQ, we gathered that most of the people we interviewed consider themselves good citizens, and those who doesn't still wants to change for the event. With this, every member of our country, city, or even a community, we all wanted to contribute in our own small ways. And from these small contributions, would all sum up to a better community, city, or even for the country. Thank you. This is Mikael Anthony Cardenas reporting live to ABS-CBN GCF. Thank you.